playing Toho on Linux is very easy. You can even just play with just wine, just raw wine. But some people, uh, many people actually, prefer to play uh, Windows games on Linux through Lutris and of course wine. And Toho is not an exception. There are reasons to play Toho on Lutris, um, such as if you want to play um, with the full screen hack patch and for other reasons. So I'm going to explain uh, how to configure Lutris for Toho. First of all, enable uh, advanced options. The first option is the wine version. Here you select your wine version, but it's not as simple as that. You should select either Lutris or Lutris uh, FS hack. Uh, both of them, they have a patch for the, um, for low sample rate audio, and this, the low sample rate audio will will re will remain, and the low sample rate audio will remain sharp if you play with without if you play your system wine. If you don't play the Lutris, uh, if, if if you don't use the Lutris wine builds, the the Toho audio, the Toho audio will be muffled. And then I, I recommend FS hack. FS hack uh, applies a uh, uses a patch a pa uh, full screen hack uses a patch uh, to fix some full screen issues. But most importantly, it changes only the resolution of the game without affecting your screen resolution. And this is the easiest way to play 4x3 unstretched. If you play Toho without uh, the FS hack patch, it will be stretched to your to your screen ratio, aspect ratio. If you play with FS hack, however, it won't be stretched, if that's what you want. If you don't really have a reason to use system wine tricks, you can leave it disabled. And of course, enable the XVK to use Vulkan uh, to translate DirectX to Vulkan instead of OpenGL. Um, you can keep you can keep v uh, Vulkan D3D disabled. It's for Direct DirectX 12 uh, and D3D. I recommend disabling D3D extras. It's not really necessary. And also disable is disable this. It's just NVIDIA DL DLSS and other stuff. Obviously, Toho doesn't use that. Unless you have problems with these options, I recommend them uh, enabled. Then the, re the rest of the options here aren't very important. Maybe audio driver, but I, I suppose auto auto will do uh, will select the the proper driver. Then we have system options. I highly recommend disabling Lutris runtime. This fixed a lot of things for me. It fixed lag spikes. It fixed input delay on Toho. I believe you can either keep this on or, or off. And the next setting is just personal preference. Um, I recommend disable, disabling uh, restrict to single core for obvious reasons. This setting is also personal uh, personal preference. And obviously, you want to disable desktop effects and screen saver. That one isn't really necessary, but desktop effects is a bit, unless you do it manually, of course. Uh, the, if you disable the compositor manually. You can enable reduce pulse audio latency, um, but it doesn't seem to reduce based on your already existing uh, existent latency. It seems to reduce it to 60, to set it to 60 milliseconds. Uh, I'm not sure if you then you should enable this if you have a lower latency uh, set in the pulse audio configuration. Everything else here, this to a default, uh, um, you don't need an FPS limit. You should use game mode, and you should only use a prime render offload if you're on a, on, on a laptop with a hybrid GPU um, setup, and you want your dedicated card to render the game. And the rest is just the default. And that's pretty much it. Those are the best configurations for, for Toho on Lutris.